Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mozville USA here, back with another video. And today, I am going to be showing you a very nifty little script, little tool to help you make your multiple bin redump sets like your PS1, your Sega CD, any of those pesky bin queue redump sets that's a single queue and a shitload of bins and we're going to be automatically merging an entire directory uh, to single bins using this nifty script took me a while to figure it out I do not uh, I'm not familiar with really any coding at all let alone what the hell a shell script is um, but I managed to get it figured out and constructed a little pack for you guys to make it so you can just do this seamlessly at home without having to edit any code um, etc so first thing you're going to want to do is download the zip in the description below that I've confiled or configured for you guys that's going to go you're going to put that on the root of your C drive, extract it to the root of your C drive, um, and essentially it's just tweaked versions of these. Uh, bin merge, which is a Python script, along with merge helper, which is a shell script uh, that searches a directory and um, automates the entire process as bin merge um, is like a one by one kind of a deal so it's no fun doing these one by one um, I did that with my PlayStation set it was about f close to 1500 games and it sucked um, I wish I had this so <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoy this so let's um, let's check this out we need Python 3 so I'll have this link down below. Uh, come on over to Python uh, and grab the latest version of Python 3. So go ahead, grab that, give it a save, and install it. Well, all right. Well, I've already got it installed, um, and I'm not going to uninstall it and reinstall it just to show you how to click a few things. But there is one important thing when you install Python is you're going to want to click the add Python to path option. Just add that and then carry on through it. And once you have that installed, come on over here and install git bash, download, install, and uh, you're good to go there. Now. Here's one of the little uh, little things we're going to need to do here. Once you have both installed, you might want to reset your computer or reboot it uh, for Python to take full effect. Uh, but we're coming in here and we're going to search go Python. And this is the one. Open file location. We got the shortcut here. I'm going to right click that and go to open file location again. And this is where my Python is installed. And we're going to want to copy that. And we're going to copy that to on the C drive, that zip I have down below. Extract that to the root of C. Um, and you'll have this bin merger folder here within Python 3 you're just going to copy paste uh, don't cut it but just paste your Python 3 install right in here uh, just like a second instance of it as the script will point there and um, you know, if uh, this is making this so it's nice and um, nice and contained, 
so you don't need to tweak the the file path in the .sh file here. Um, once that's done, just go into games, and you're gonna paste the games that you want to merge. So I have this is the Sega CD English set right here, <clears throat> and we're gonna merge them. So we go back to bin merger. I'm gonna right click, and we should have this git bash here option. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna go type bash merge helper dot sh. And there we go. Look at it do its thing. Oh, it is it is hauling ass. Well, there she is, dudes. Once this is done, um, I will show you what to do next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has done its thing. A couple errors here and there, but we should be good. Uh, now, if we go into games, let's check it out. So look at that. That is a single bin in queue. And it takes the original and puts it in its own folder here. So that is very nice. Um, yeah, so you can just go through here and delete the original folder if you want to for each one or just keep them both to have have the new one and then you also have a backup of the uh, the proper multi bin there if that's something you want to do totally your call uh, but definitely go through and make sure that they all did their thing if not hit up CD Mage and do it the old-fashioned way for the few that didn't work out you're still gonna be saving a buttload of time um now don't mind all that fat Explorer stuff going on now if you want to actually um, like you don't want to be dependent on the root of the C drive you don't want to have to move your files over etc what you can do or what you'll have to do is edit this .sh file and one thing I noticed is um, it could have been a fluke but it seemed to me that notepad uh, really fucked it up like when I opened it in notepad I think you, you're gonna probably want to use um, I'm using Visual Studio Code here. Just give that a download. And uh, come in here and scroll down. These are the only lines you're going to need to edit. Um, so here for the game root, this is the format here. So this is where I was getting stuck for quite some time because I was using the, uh, you know, traditional what you're used to with windows like C colon slash you get the gist you know what I'm talking about uh, that is not how uh, shell scripts I'm assuming this is how Linux is I don't know uh, but this is how you set up a directory so forward slash C forward slash etc uh, so just take a look at this whatever the directories that you want to set up are I uh, just use these as a template uh, to point it in the proper directory and click save and um, then just run it um, that's pretty much all there is to it dudes uh, this saves a ton of time wish I f uh, figured this out sooner but it's better late than never Still got some pesky Sega CD games to deal with, so I hope this helps some of you guys out there. 
dealing with a super obnoxious redump multi bin pack. Mosville, USA, signing out.